This local sports report is presented by the Fence and Deck Experts, a proud supporter of the Wilmot Wild. Check out the Fence and Deck Experts for professional work and quality service. They make your backyard an extension of your living space, installing custom decks with pressure-treated or composite wood with a glass railing. They also offer a variety of fence options, from wood to vinyl to chain link. Call now to get a quote at 519-804-3325. That's 519-804-DECK. Welcome, lacrosse friends, to the Wilmot Rec Complex. Here for game one of your best of seven Meredith Cup Final 2023. Thank you. Zendron with the ball, loses it. Oh, and Holmes with the ball, and it puts it in. Nice transition goal by number seven. Zachary Holmes picks up the loose ball, drops a shoulder into the Kodiak player, and beats Sidlot on a nice low shot on the short side. And the Wild bring it up. Forsyth with the ball. Looks for a little lane. Smith with a crease and he beats his defender. And a goal by Forsyth the other way is not the way the game of lacrosse goes. Crease violation at one end. And a wild strike at the other end. And Anthony Capella looking to feed William Capella again. Kelly with the ball. Looking for an outlet. A little bit of a pressure there. And picked off by Jeremy Capella. And the, that pays dividends as he dished it off. Looked like Bellavo on the far side from the interception by Jeremy Capella. Cuts the lead to two to one. The countdown's on. He's got to try and get it over. And he dishes it down. Oh, the Wild get behind the defender. Oh, great save. Oh, that's a goal. I thought Sidlot had it. It looked like Troy McDonald with the goal. Ethan Warren with the ball up top. Driving it down low, he's got a bit of a lane, takes a shot and he just sneaks it under the glove, left hand glove of Anthony Sidlot, gives the Wild a 4-1 lead. If anything, if you're looking at the statistics, it's like oh, uh, Kodiaks seem to be the stronger defensive team. Well, but, you know, neither one of these teams have seen each other. And you don't know if that's a characteristic of the team or a product of the division they're in, but as you can see, the Kodiaks strike again. But the Wilds standing tall to the task and have a 4-2 lead here in the first period. And they get another good look. Oh, they got to pick up the rebound. Nice save by Kelly, but the rebound is picked up in front of the crease. William Capella back up to Anthony Capella. Over to Valu. Down to the crease. Valu cutting to the net. Up to Anthony Capella. Nice shot. And Kelly squeezes that. Rebound gets tied up in his crease. But, oh, turnover. Capella three on two. Odd man down by the crease. And Valu ties it up on that turnover. Another look here on the power play. Capella up top over to Justin Ballou. Down low. Ballou swings it over. And Jerry Capella with the goal. I believe the second of the game. As the Kodiaks get their first lead of the game on a power play marker. Looks like Foresight there gets a good look. Let's sit a lot and make the save. Looking for an outlet, doesn't quite reach. Gendron, but he still picks it up. Oh, a little, excuse me, pass. And a one-timer by William Capella at the crease. This kind of tips it over Aiden Kelly as they get their fifth straight goal here, fifth unanswered. So they take a 6-4 lead. One in the back door and one out the front door. 
Oh, a tic-tac-toe there. Ballou down to Capella at the crease. That's William Capella with his second goal of the game. Kodiak's got another power play marker in the wild. Desperately looking for a good shot, but the swarming Kodiak's defense pick up the ball and they're bringing up a two on one. Swing it over to Jeremy Capella. Smith is there, break it up. Nice job by Smith. Oh! Well, so that's going to be a headbutt there, looks like, by the Kodiak's. A little frustration on their part. Two minutes for a rough. That's an interesting call. I'm not sure if the referee saw the full extent of that. Is look, look from this angle like he led with his head. And basically headbutted Owen Smith down at the crease. The referees confer a little bit. Snyder with the ball up top. Swings over to Forsyth. There we get a little bit of a Screen lane for Snyder there, and beautiful pass play! Great job by Snyder! Finding Chilton down at the crease! And Chilton had the wide open net, makes no mistake! There's the Wild! Strike back on a power play goal. Brings it down low. Swinging them around back up top, looking for a little bit of help. Oh, we're getting a holding call, draws the penalty. Kelly going to the net. Great hustle by Chilton there, forcing the mistake by the Kodiak defender before the Wild struck back. And we're looking, so both teams looking for a late goal as Kelly makes a fantastic save. Kicking the arm out, that's a kick save and a beauty for Kelly there. 18 seconds left and the Wild pick up the ball again. For the Kodiaks rather. Oh, great lane to the net. Oh, Wild with a bit of a defensive lapse. And the Kodiaks. Strike again. The Wild defense did their job. And now have a 10 second difference between the shot clock. And they don't need it. Snyder from up top fires it right over Sidlock's shoulder. Power play marker cuts the lead to two. Rebound by Forsyth as he picks it up. Looking to get it over. Pressure by the Kodiaks, and he does. McDonald taking a look at the net, and he does! A little shorty by McDonald! Wow. What an effort! Nine seconds left on the penalty, and McDonald! Probably would have been content killing off the penalty, but it's like the defender wasn't giving him much pressure. He took advantage of that. Got ourselves a game. Kodiak's doing a good job of moving around, but the defense of the Wild standing tall. Oh, a little bit of a defensive breakdown there. Some nice picks, set, picks and screens set by the Kodiaks. Finds Capella wide open at the net. 8-5 lead into the intermission, but it's been the Wild here in the third period. As they look to strike again, and a great save by Sinalot. Another great save by Sinalot. As he desperation save, but sticking his arm out. We've had some beauty saves on both ends of the floor here. Picked up by the Kodiaks as they're going to try and drive it down. Maybe seal the deal with an empty netter, and they do. As Baskin with the feed from Clements. As uh, Kodiaks can kill the clock here. And we will be 
back at it. Sunday night, seven o'clock, here at the Wilmot Recreation Center, as Wilmot will try and even up this say, series. But game one goes to the Kodiaks on a well-fought battle by both teams.